I'll tell you yeah. what, how, how the, the preacher thing came oh, yeah. about because Aki had asked me to um, to write songs for what was possibly going to be the follow up and then you know the, the band decided it was all too polished and they didn't so I ended up with these songs and I thought well you know they should uh, I should record them and I'd co-written a couple of them with Nico Ramsden which was I Want to Be American which was going to be like the, the theme song and I co-wrote uh, Road Goes On Forever with him which was lyrically affected by what I'd done um, you know my, my last days of the members um, and then um, I had these other songs um, Redemption My Redemption which I'd written with Mark and originally we'd got it vocalised by Taka Boom who was Shaka Khan's sister and I was never convinced it was always a song I really liked you know I'd, I'd, written, I'd written the lyric and it, I felt it sort of said something and um, Mark said well why don't you sing it and we'll you know do that so we went into back into his place I mean, he makes stuff sound great, and he'd, start, he'd taken off all Taka Boom and her boyfriend, who'd done all these amazing kind of gospel-y backing vocals to her version, and he sampled it and dropped them into this new version that um, that we were making, and um, it worked a treat, you know. And then we recorded a story of mine. I had this whole kind of like I'm a big fan of Tom Waits, you know. <clears throat> Uh, big fan of Charles Bukowski, that whole that whole genre of storytelling, you know. And I'd written the song to be like this film story of a you know a guy in a bar remembering a you know the classic story of a, why are you an alcoholic, you know, why are you an alcoholic? Well, because you know a woman left me. Well, that's you know standard excuse. But um, and I remember at the time thinking, wow, these are, you know, really great. But I think in, you know, I thought, I don't know if I really had the drive to go out and get, try to get another record deal and go back to performing. Because I'd done various bits and pieces. And I don't know if it's just because I'm a lazy bastard, but... Um, there's a whole thing of having to deal with egos again, yeah. you know, and you kind of get to a point, when you're all young and hungry and it's all like, yeah, yeah, we're all here together and you're like the gang, you are like a gang and you're, you know, the last gang in town, you're, um, it kind of makes sense and it all adds up, but as you get older, the idea of having to smooth over the bass players, hit my cat. <laughs> um, the idea of having to smooth over the bass player's ego problems or the drummer's doesn't like the shape of the bread, you know, it's very spinal tap, I know, but you kind of get to an age where you think, I don't really want to fucking do that anymore, you know, it's yeah. it's tedious, you know, life just... Um, yeah. I think I find with my band, it's not just the band members you're doing, it's the missus is because they're in bed, yes. expressing their moans to each other. <laughs> Uh, quite, uh, yeah, there is that, and there's a whole you, uh, kind of extension of... When you're on okay. the road, it's like a little family, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hotels, I mean, in, in 2007, mm -hmm. the members did a reunion show uh, on my wife shares a birthday with the lead guitar player, Nigel, and, um, and it was his 50th, it wasn't my wife's 50th, it was his 50th, and... Um, We'd had a putative attempt, a stab at doing a gig at the Forum, and um, I kind of pulled out because the promoter wanted us to do this very, very kind of third-rate punk lineup. And at the time, I just thought, well, you know, it's insane, really, because the bands he wants us to play with didn't like the members, and and the people who liked the members didn't like those bands. So we kind of caused a few reactions let's put it that way uh, diplomatically and um, 
but Nigel said, hey, you know, why don't we get together and do a gig on my birthday? So we, us, we know this place uh, under the Westway that we're in on the green, which is fabulous. You know, it's run by um, Tina and Dave, and it's, it's though it's kind of wasn't there when we were in living around there as a members. It's kind of like a piece of home memory kind of thing. And okay, we, I've seen the video of that on YouTube. Yeah, well, we went and played there, and it was a fantastic gig. And there were people who hadn't seen us and okay. before, and you know, ever. And they were like my age, and they were my God. You know, people couldn't believe how tight we were. We were always quite a tight band. It was a great gig, and then we did a, another gig because Phil Jupiter's MC'd it for us. He's an old friend of ours, mm -hmm. and he um, he had a birthday at the Hundred Club on July the fourth, and then that same year, two thousand and seven, and said so we play there, and we, we did Billy Bragg and people like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we did, and we did. That was the last time we um, we played together. I mean, I know it's still a form of the members doing the rounds out there but it's not the members you know um, but I kind of like I don't know I just sort of have this I'd like to be making music again but I think uh, at the moment you know there's such a the music industry is such a a strange place that I would, you know, and I, but, and if I was making music, I'd want to, to be more informed about where I am myself these days. You know, I, I kind of my, my kind of listening. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really want to go out there and be a, a heritage thing. You know, go out and do. I think that um, redemption, my redemption, reminds me of a film. It should be in a film, a film score, like a big one. I imagine your lyrics and vocal quite emotive and atmospheric. You should be in films now, doing well, I'd lots love, of films. I'd love to be. I mean, that's... Uh, I keep sort of going back and banging on publishers' yeah. doors, even with songs, you know, songs I've got. Mm. Um, I mean, similarly, you know, I think with The Road Goes On Forever, you know, I can see that over the closing credits. Um, and when, you know, the guy I wrote it with, Mark, died recently, and I've always liked that song, but it kind of took on yeah. extra meaning for me. I mean, I, I kind of write still. I don't write music still, but I write. Um, and my wife's a comic artist. She produces comics. So we're kind of working on this very one-sided story of the members as a graphic novel kind of thing, <laughs> and, which I think it's got to be. You know, you, 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 you either write something... You're either a biographer, and in which case you've got to show, or else, you know, I'm writing my story, and my story is, you know, my story. Warts and all, actually.